The drop shot can be a really useful weapon. If you come up against a really good lobber that's getting all of your smashes back, then introducing the drop shot can be effective. It can either win the point or it brings the lobber in close to the table, which makes your next attacking shot more effective. One of the main aims of the drop shot is to get the ball short on your opponent's side of the table. If they've lobbed the ball really deep on your side, it makes it difficult to control the ball short to the other side. But if the lob drops short on the table, then it's much easier to get the ball short on your opponent's side of the table. When you're playing the drop shot, the first thing you need to do is get the ball as early as you can off the bounce. If you let the ball bounce up too high, then the ball is going to bounce high on your opponent's side. It's also going to give the lobber much more time to be able to read the drop shot and come in and make an attacking shot. So the first thing is get that ball as early as you can off the bounce. The second thing is to make sure that you've got a nice, soft, relaxed hand to absorb any speed that's on the ball. If you've got a very tight hand, the bat becomes like a wall and the ball's gonna bounce off a little bit further. So relax the hand, relax the grip, and just try to absorb some of the speed off the ball. And the third one, and this is a really critical one, is to just put a little bit of side spin on the ball when you're making the drop shot. That will help the ball to stay low and short on your opponent's side of the table.